Oh, there oh. we go. There we go. I'll cut it. Otherwise, we could uh, go on for hours. Hours welcome, and hours. Hours welcome, and hours. welcome, welcome to another episode oh. of Anderson's TV, where we are telling you about uh, some new exciting products from Fender that would have been announced at the summer 2020 NAM show had it not been for some pesky virus that meant it's been cancelled. Um, yes. So uh, yeah. we have got some new Roadhorn guitars, which we're excited to tell you about. Yes. And we've also got Lovely. a new variation of the uh, Tone Master amp range. So um, I love those amps. So do I. They're so good. Let's start with the amps and let's start with going this Fender Tone Master. This is my favorite, favorite use of digital technology. Yes, I agree. In like, yes. For you know, most since it came out, since, since, since digital since was invented, the little part, since the little part it's thing. like I get it. Really, you know, digital, digital has been about going. How do we cram as much stuff into small boxes and emulate amps and you know, basically screens, create and like, Bluetooth, computers that make right, guitar Wi-Fi. noises and da, 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 da. And then last year, Fender just went, or how about we use digital technology to just make an amp that's exactly the same knobs and buttons and look and features of a classic valve amplifier, but just inside make it digital so that it's nice and light inside. and a bit more affordable. Yeah. So that's what Tone Master is. And if you want to know a bit more about the, the black one, there is a video that we did last year when yeah. these were announced. I mean, basically when you look at those, just the, if you, all of you, the difference is the little Tone Master Yep, there's a couple Just of differences on the, down the, there in the front. There, yeah. You can't tell the difference, that's it. There are some you features know. on the back that are a little different to the uh, normal valve amplifier. Yeah. But for, on the front, um, that's all it is. It's just a Fender Deluxe um, and it doesn't do channel switching and it doesn't have multi effects built into yeah. it. And I love pretty that. much, if the original valve amplifier didn't do a certain thing, then chances are the digital version doesn't do it as well. As I said, with the exception of a couple of things on the yeah. back. Anyway. And they're light as well. They weigh only 24 pounds. Yeah, super, super light. So there are two <laughs> versions of the Tone Master at the moment. You've got the Deluxe, which we've got here, Deluxe Reverb, and there's also the Twin Reverb, the bigger 212. So summer 2020, Fender have announced uh, a blonde version of each of those. So this is the Blonde Deluxe. There's also a Blonde Twin. And there are two or three um, small mods that they've done to the Blonde one. Um, not, it's not like an upgraded version of the, of the Deluxe, it's just, uh, it's just your choice. So the first thing they've done, and probably the most uh, obvious, is the speaker in this is different. So the original black one had a neodymium, which is, neodymium is a very efficient magnet, so you can use a small light magnet on the back of the speaker, therefore reducing a lot of the weight of the amplifier. So the, the black one had a neodymium Jensen speaker in it. Jensen. Jensen is typically what you'd associate with um, the Fender Deluxe over mm -hmm. its, you know, 50 odd year history. Um, the, the uh, blonde one has a Celestian Creamback Neodymium speaker in it. Uh, so again, still lightweight, uh, but voiced to be like their regular Creamback speaker. I don't know, if I'm honest with you, I don't know if Fender ever did the normal Valve Deluxe with that speaker in it, but I certainly I know they've know done the Hot Rod yeah. with, with the, yeah, they definitely with the, have with the real, with the big, with and, big I, and I believe it's been a sort of a relatively popular mod for deluxe owners over the years. Deluxe, yeah. uh, the Fender Deluxe, if you're not familiar with that, I don't know if it's that or the twin that's Fender's most iconic amplifier. But you know, you've got players from from Larry Carlton to John Mayer. You know, I mean, it's like it's it's all, almost every studio musician of the sort of the. 60s, 70s, and 80s, I suspect, was probably using a, a deluxe as their main amplifier. Yeah, anyway. still, they're still everywhere. They're great, everywhere great, still, great amplifier. But super heavy. So, we've got a new speaker in here, uh, and we'll demonstrate. Uh, I'll, I'm going to plug into the normal channel to demonstrate the, the speaker difference, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, we've also got a slight mod to the vibrato channel on the blonde one. So, for valve amp connoisseurs, <laughs> um, they'll know that Fender often have a bright switch on their amplifiers. Now the Deluxe, the traditional valve amp, uh, Deluxe didn't have a bright switch in it. It was the bright feature was hardwired into the vibrato channel using a capacitor. 
So the blonde, and, and it was very popular uh, with players to remove that bright feature, particularly if they wanted a more of a, they wanted to use gainy pedals with it and stuff like that, it took that spiky high end away. So that the blonde one has been designed, the vibrato channel has the bright cap mod, in other words, the bright feature removed. Um, the um, reverb is a little different. Now, I really like the reverb on the black I one, love that. But there is an issue issue with it that particularly as you start to drop the attenuation down, and we'll talk about the attenuation in a minute, the, the reverb definitely becomes a bit over the top on the black one. So the reverb on the blonde one has kind of been modified to uh, reduce that over the top reverb vibe. Yeah. I believe, although I can't confirm a date yet, I believe there is a, a firmware update coming for the black one soon that will allow you to choose that sort of lesser reverb um, element if you want to. Um, flipping around to the back now, a couple of features on the back. Um, the the What you'll hear during this demo is you'll hear, sometimes you'll hear the amp mic'd up as you can see here, but also as well, and we'll display on screen when we're doing it, you're gonna hear the emulated output on here. The, the emulated output on this amplifier is one of the digital features that you don't get on the normal valve version of these amplifiers. And it's yeah. almost indistinguishable. It it's sounds so great, good. Yeah. Um, and Let's there are two it. settings on each amplifier. The black one, you could emulate either a dynamic mic or a ribbon mic. Mm -hmm. um, and I forget whether they specified what mics they were, but you know, typically a classic dynamic would be like an SM57 and a ribbon might be like a Royer 121 or something. Yeah. Um, the blonde one though, they've changed that. So you've, you, the position one now is an SM57 and position two is a Sennheiser MD41. So just two dynamic options. And again, I think Fender are talking about using the, the, the option of the, the firmware updates that you can do via USB on these, of expanding on those or giving you perhaps options to, 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 to elect which ones yeah, you want. Yeah, it would be nice to see a little piece of software maybe that you yeah. can load on your computer. Um, digital. So we'll demonstrate those differences as well in a minute. Um, and then lastly, oh, sorry, that's the only difference between the two amplifiers. But the other thing I was going to say, of course, that, that if you go back and look at the original Tone Master amplifier, we also have attenuation on the back. Ooh. So we can attenuate it uh, to its full 22 watts. Or are we attenuating or emulating? It's a bit, perhaps the terminology for digital is different. But effectively, we can run these amplifiers in anything from their 22 watt mode all the way down to zero, where you're just having the emulated output working in steps of, let me just see, uh, 0.2 watts, 0.5 watts, 1 watt, 5 watts, 12 watts, or 22 watts. And that's different on the twin because the twin will go up to its full, you know, yeah. it's a much louder amplifier. And it's funny, it says 22 watts when it actually is a class D, like 100 watts, I think, you know. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's emulating, it's emulating 22, 22 watts, watts, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than using a 22 watt digital yeah. amplifier. <laughs> Which is all. Uh, comes with a foot switch, oh <coughs> so you can turn goodness. the reverb and the vibrato on and off. Here is the foot switch, oh so you can turn goodness. the- They should have done that that's... in that classic. They should have done the classic little- Yeah, they little... should have done it, shouldn't they? Yeah, that's, ah, uh, whatever. Um, yeah. Pete and I are talking about the, the foot switch that comes with, a, like a with the original metal. 65 amps is a, is a much more Do you remember the little flimsy little looking, uh, yeah. flappy yeah. With like a plastic, the like yeah, Tupperware yeah. lid on yeah, the back of it, isn't it? I love that. Anyway, look, so you heard that opening jam. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to just plug over to the normal channel because the normal channel on the two amplifiers are voiced the same. Um, <clears throat> so really now the only difference you're going to be hearing between these two amplifiers is from the speaker. Uh, the normal channel on the amplifiers don't have reverb. So we're going to, should we just do the demo with no reverb on this? Bit? Well, we can do. Can do. Or that, then it's even more... Yeah, I mean we've got authentic. a we've got a TC reverb pedal on the floor. Yeah, I've got a little Hall of Fame. Already. And you are just going to hear now the speakers mic'd up. Interestingly, the IRs on these, so the emulated output. This one, as you sort of would expect, is an IR of the Jensen speaker that's in here, and this one is an IR of the Greenback speaker that's ah. in here. So the the IRs should sound, you know, different too. But that's why it should be. That's how it should be. That's how it should be because you want the IR to yeah. essentially sound like the amp, I guess. Yeah. Don't you? Um, so I have put everything, uh, the, the, the bass and the treble controls are right in the middle and the volume, we're in full 22 watt mode and the volume is on three. On so let's start amp. with everything on 12. The top there, except that Fender amps don't have a 12. No, I know that. So. That's just, it doesn't make much sense anyway. But here we go. So here's a G chord and we are on the, uh, the, black, on the one. black one first. Mm -hmm.
And here's the uh, blonde. Wow. Back to the black. I mean, we are sitting in a little bit of a weird position. Me, you sitting yeah. behind them, I'm sitting like behind mm -hmm. and then here. But we are hearing it a bit in the room. But they do sound different. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I feel like the black is much darker. They're and classic open back yeah. combos here. So actually sitting behind them is probably not that hugely different to sitting in front no, of them. Unless you're like uh, right but, down. But completely off to the side will be a bit a bit weird. But yeah, there's a substantial difference in the sound. Yeah. I actually do think I prefer the cream It's clearer. Back sound. It's just do it again. That's with, with the, no gain. No gain, here we go. So uh another one? I should say on this point, do please subscribe to this channel because loads of cool, useful videos coming up. And one of the ones that uh, we have got is the guys at Celestian have sent us oh, yes. seven or eight different speakers mm -hmm. from some of the most affordable ones to through to some of the most expensive ones. And we're going to do a series of video or do a video where we put those speakers into Boss Katanas and Fender Hot Rod Deluxes yeah, that, so that um, we can... Really see what happens if you've got an amplifier i mean i think you can see from there just how much the speaker affects the sound of an amplifier it's it's huge huge difference um and yet i don't think as guitar players we you know we've cut, we've really take into account much about what speaker am i going to use no anyway, i mean even the, these, these caps video. Are, are lightweight pine yes. so even the the fact that the, the cabinet is a pine cabinet mm. makes different from a birch cabinet yes which we've you know, we haven't that's, that we haven't really talked about that. Yeah, but that's that, again that is to do with how cabinets resonate, and then once a cabinet is resonating, how much that affects yeah. what you hear. Anyway, look, yeah, probably videos probably on that. affects it more in the room than it does miking up. But whatever. Well, I well, do you say that? No, but the cabinet. A, that it yeah, makes. but even with miking it up, the mm. resonance of the cab will make it sound different. Okay, anyway. right. So look, that's. I'm going to jump out the normal channel and go back into the vibrato you channel. You jump so, away, my friend. So now what you're hearing is a mix of the different speaker and the bright cap mod and the reverb being different on uh, this amplifier. Now what I am going to do first and foremost is just set them the same, which actually, when we were messing around before, probably wasn't... I, I wouldn't... Uh, what am I trying to say? I wouldn't have these <laughs> set the same to get the best out of them if that no, you know yeah, I, I would set them up differently yeah so with them set the same uh you might just go oh i like that one better or i like that one better but it's not really the point of the no the demo so but we'll start there so here's here's the same so we've got volume on three treble and bass halfway up so on five and reverb on three same uh same on the black one no vibrato yet and still on 22 watt mode here we go That sounds great. It does I love sound that. Great. That sounds it's great, doesn't it? Tons of reverb. Look, listen to that reverb. There's, I think they've really nailed that. That's a mm. completely different thing. So back to the now to the blonde. Oh man, it's it's because the reverb always cheat. It's mm. tr 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 cheats the, the reverb, ears. Should I take the reverb off? Well, yeah. I mean, if yeah, I turn yeah, the turn reverb down, off, and down. then you've just got the difference between the bright cap. Yeah. On, yeah and then if yeah, I turn yeah, on this channel versus that. and the speak and the speaker, obviously. Which one's that? This one. Now. Yeah, that's the blonde okay. one. I do 
think that the, the, the Jensen is the more classic Fender sound. Yeah, it's the fatter, it sounds fatter tone. It's got, more, about, it's got more bass and more treble, I think. More bass and more treble. What's not to like about more bass, more treble? So, well, I, did we cover <laughs> this? So the, the reason, typically the reason that players would take the bright cap out of a deluxe and maybe use a, a Celestian over a Jensen would be if they wanted to use some more driven tones with the amplifier because the, the regular traditional deluxe will probably go a bit spiky, little yep. in maybe an unpleasant way with more drive in it. So I guess now, before we get the, well. I think, you know what I think? I think Should when you're sitting and playing, or? when you're playing alone, mm. you want that top and the bottom. You want that yeah. fatness and that yeah. big fat reverb. But when you're playing with a band, that just, that washes away. And, and the bass will take over the fatness. Yeah, yeah. The low notes on the piano, whatever, the kick drum. So you need this to go to do live stuff. Yeah. So. All right. Well, look, let's uh, let's just fiddle around with the EQ a little bit on on the on the uh, blonde dark, on the blonde one because we we ended up boosting the bass end up a little bit on this, didn't we? Very spiky top. No, no that's it. That yeah. One, there we go, yeah. So they're so they're you, definitely different. Aren't yeah, they? you can definitely see the difference there. So I will just let's just play with the reverb on here. So if we want that kind of classic James Bond craziness reverb, we've, it's all there. You just got to turn it up. <laughs> Again, if I was to turn the reverb up that much on the black one, what are we going to get? What are you going to get? It's great, isn't it, though? don't want this video to come across as like the blonde one has been introduced to be like the upgraded version of the black no, one. No, because it's not, they're two it's, different it's things. It's just, I, I still think, if I was a betting man, I still think, I think over time, that I think the blonde one will be, there'll be a little spike of people going, oh yeah, I like that. But I think over a two or three year period, I bet you the black one just ends up being the most popular one. Because it's, it's the just, more classic it's one. It's the classic one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the classic but, one. But the other one is, you know, you can make that sound like the other it one. It does By doing the more bass on the, top, on the top end, you know, the speaker. Who doesn't like the blonde with the brown uh, grill as well? Oh, it's anyway, great, yeah. Right, so let's now, I And guess, the price difference is not that big. No, 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 there's a, so it's about it's like, 50 quid extra because yeah, the speaker so, is a bit dearer. Yeah. Um, Let's get a sound that we like out of both of them on this vibrato channel. And now let's add the gain element in. Okay, so... Uh, uh, I think what we should do with the Dane, we'll use a, a selection of pedals and end up with even quite gainy fuzz as well, so we can see. Yeah, I've got to some see. fuzz. Yeah. So let's get two basic clean sounds that we like. See now I kind of that one is kind of a bit more brighter and for the way I'm sitting, oh my god, it's difficult. Okay. What you need is both. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's what I used to have. Two two two, two blonde oh. uh, it sounds wrong, but it's not two blonde uh, hot rod blues deville with four tens, so it's eight tens. Ah oh. sixty watts. <laughs> Like that. Are they 60 like watts, Joe Bonamassa tribute band or something? No, I just like I just bought two because I thought it would look cool. <laughs> uh, and I stupid, stupidly. Um, uh, okay, so a bit of gain. Uh, on now we're on the blonde. Mm, 
again, that was the that was the Thorpey Dane. So yeah. again, think of classic fat, low Just, gain yeah. drive tones. Slow, low gain overdrive. Uh, light speed, tinny, that kind of uh, ballpark of pedal. Transparent organic. Yeah, transparent <laughs> orgasmic <laughs> organic. <laughs> All, all the words that should just be on the t-shirt true everywhere. bypass <laughs> uh, true bypass no I, I like so uh, here is the black one with the Dane Woo! that is so, so much louder switch back again okay I mean, that's more of I a... I don't really have a favourite, but they are different. Let's just go on the middle pickup. That's more like... It's more Stevie Ray, where the other one is... It's not as... It's not... It's, 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 it's sloppy bit, and... It's, it's sloppy and... It is definitely... That top end is a bit spicy. This is more controlled. <laughs> They're both great. They're both great. If I was, you know what? <laughs> yeah. This sounds like a traditional Fender, and this sounds more like when you hear boutique people like doing Fender style yeah. modded yeah, yeah. thingies. But that's what they do, isn't it? Like they that, put those those speakers in it, and so let's go more gain. Okay, I mean, this is we're not going to go into the realms of metal, but we'll go. We'll get some fuzz. We'll get some more. Let's just. I'll just tones. turn. The, I'll turn the gain up here. See uh, what happens. Yeah. Whoa! 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 Uh, <laughs> we might need to check the levels. Is that loud? Now, Holy issue. Hang interestingly on, wait, wait, wait. here, interestingly wait. here, I think we're beginning to realise the reverb issue. Yeah. We've we've whacked the the sort of input gain into here, and the reverb now on the black one is getting a bit. It's getting washed, isn't it? Washy. It's so getting washy. I'm just going to turn the reverb down a little bit on the black one. I'm not going to touch the blonde one. Though. Let's see whether or not that's is sort of fixed, if you like. Okay, anyway, there's a lot of gain here. So yeah. this is It's harsher. Yeah. It's harsher, but cut. I kind of like it. I yeah. don't know. Let's fuzz it up. Fuzz okay. it up. Get a bit of a fuzz on there. Hang on. Not convinced I'm a big fan. Uh, to be honest with you, I think what I needed to do there was get and maybe take some of the bass end down yeah. and voice it differently that was a on the preamp. Fleece, uh, yeah, by the, way. My the, the blues and the rock sounds were spectacular. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, so I do kind of think I'll just on the on the very, very quickly on the uh, blonde one, let's now show you what the attenuation does. Again, you never really get the right impact on YouTube because obviously you're just going to hear 
the amp get quieter, but it's difficult for you to know what that relative volume is. But here <laughs> we go, I'm gonna step down. So here we go in, it's, we're just gonna do the blonde one now. It's the, the attenuation's the same on both. So, uh, and so here we go, uh, full 22 watt mode. One step down. So yeah, another step down. Still, not much difference to be honest with you. Hey. Oh, there you go, here it comes. So where, what are we now on then? <laughs> yeah. Can't even see. We're down to one watt mode before we've really heard a big difference between the 22 watt mode and, and one of the 10 years. Here we go, one watt mode. Another step down. Another one. Okay. Oh, this one you can speak that's over. the last one, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the last one before I then, what I would do is I would, there's a mute switch on the back, so I'd flick the mute switch on, and now only the emulated out is, is working. But we've yeah. switched that off, so, um, okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm a, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm mixed on attenuation in the sense that uh, what I like about loud guitars is the loudness. Is the loudness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when people go, yeah, how do I get that sound really quiet? It's like, well, you sort of, you get an approximation of that sound quietly, yeah. but loud guitars are sound amazing when they're loud because they're loud. But it's, that's what it does. So a million percent, if you're going, I need an amplifier that I can use at home, middle of the night, and I don't, you know, and it sounds okay, perfect. You've got like a 0.2 of a watt mode or whatever, perfect. And I think we've, it does it better. Gone, can you just chomp, yeah. chomp some gain I just, on? I just, the, the attenuation seems to be to work better with, with amps like this, uh, digital kind of mm -hmm. stuff like the Katana and when they got, cause that is not the same as an attenuator on a, yeah. It's, so no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So here's some gain again. Sounds, it sounds fine. fine. It sounds fine. We've yeah. talked a lot about attenuation in other videos. My personal preference, if you really, really want uh, good sounding Tell me low what you want. volume, what you really is uh, to, to have a <laughs> to have a dedicated, like a powered speaker. I've got a pair of these Genelec 8010s, and they're about this big, and they're powered, and they're designed to sound great at low volume. Whereas, of course, a, a big 12-inch guitar speaker is not designed at least to sound push the great. Air. At low volume, but, but I do it, think those. But it okay. those I, do, I do think those tiny neodymium speakers do sound better yeah, at low I, volumes. It sounds pretty good, man. Right now we're going to go. We're, we'll just do IR only, right? Okay, we can do that. Yeah, sure. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to put both amps into mute mode, um, and we'll get them on in the room. We've got the same settings as we've had. Uh, the only thing we've not really done yet is the vibrato, but we'll do that last. Um, we also need to talk about the guitars. We must talk about the guitars as well. It's we, going to be we, a slightly longer video, this one. There's yeah, but, not much to tell you about the guitars other than they're super cool. Yeah. Um, and they sound great. So, uh, we're now on in the room. We're listening to a couple of little speakers. So, this is, this is the uh, oh. dynamic. This is the SM57 on this one and position one on the black one, which all I know is it's a dynamic mic. I can't remember. Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll. We'll let you Oh so my pay God, attention while we annotate the attenuation of the attentiveness of um, something Shall I just play something? Yes, please. Okay. Great man. It does, I mean, that it? sounds so good. It does in sound it. so authentic. I mean, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here we go. And here is the other microphone. To the 57. The MD41. Yeah, 57 for me, man. Yeah. Any day. Bit of, bit of distortion. Back to the 57. And the, and the 41. Just get yeah, your 57 I, I like, I like all day long, man. 
honestly, <laughs> it's the just, sermon sounds great. I love it. I love the fact that again, Fender have just gone. Yeah, I'm not going to put um, 700 different cabinet modules. Can't load in your own IRs. All that kind of stuff. At least as far as I'm aware, you can't load in no. your own IRs. Um, you shouldn't be just, able here you to. Go. Two, two different microphones to choose from, boom. It just sounds great. And I would give that feed to a sound man all day long and just yeah. say, don't bother micing me up. I'll just have this on stage for my own volume. Here's your feed. Go. Yeah, and it's and for home, if you're recording stuff at home, uh, you don't need a microphone. Can you we just... do the same on the black one? So oh just to, oh I, uh, sorry, I tell a lie. He Even tells a I've lie. I've just said there's no IR loader, one of the switches on here for the DI output is no cabinet simulation. So of course you absolutely could just ah. put it in no cap, then into a third party IR An loader. Or uh, anything, you could buy a little oh, little thing or whatever. Oh yeah, of course. Um, and then load in your own IRs if you wanted to. Yeah, so what, anyway, what do you want to do that for? What do you want to do that for? What do you want to do that for when it sounds like that? And now here is the dynamic setting. And here's the ribbon. Back. Dynamic. No, that's the ribbon now. And that's yeah. the dynamic. Not forgetting oh. that the black one is uh, emulating the Jensen speaker in here, whereas of course the blonde one is emulating the Celestian. Oof! Right, lastly Man. then, back to the blonde it's one, so back through the actual speaker, I think. So yeah. let's just turn the, well, it doesn't matter, we can leave the emulation on. But this, you're now hearing this, and we'll just quickly do the vibrato, which, as I said, I can control from a foot switch if I want to. Um, I'm always surprised on when I play Fender amplifiers with vibrato in them. They the speed is much faster than you'd expect. Like if you bought a pedal, yeah, a vibrato bah, 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 pedal, bah, bah, bah. yeah, you can always slow the speed much farther down. But on Fender amplifiers, it, like the, even and it's the always lowest been like that. speed, yeah, the yeah. lowest speed is still that's as low as it will go. Still. I'll turn it up a bit and I'll turn the reverb up and then so you can go good. full James Bond or whatever you want to do. Okay, enough <laughs> enough about the amplifiers. The the the, the blonde ones are about reverb, man. fifty quid dearer than the black ones. I've got some indicative pricing here. We, I think the 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 blonde deluxe is going to be eight fifty as opposed to seven ninety nine for the black one. And the twin, apologies for reading off the floor here, is nine forty nine for the black one, and it's going to be a thousand and forty nine for the blonde one. But always jump over to the Anderson's website for the latest up to date pricing for today. Yes. Right. Before we go, Road are we done one. with these? I think we're done with these. I mean, come and check them out if you can. Remember, there's still you have to book a time. Now, now, right? that, now that it doesn't matter if I put this back down and get the microphone placement wrong, let's do the little finger lift test. Hello. Little, now, I don't have a bionic little finger or anything like or that. Or do you? Or do I? Um, but I'm just going to literally unplug everything from the back here and go... <coughs> <laughs> the little finger lift test. Now, I can tell you now, despite the fact that uh, I have uh, exceptionally muscular little fingers, I would not have been able to do that with... Um, 
I would have, you would have, but it would have hurt a bit. No, I'd, sure. have let, I'd <laughs> left my finger ripped out of its socket on it. Anyway. They are super light, man. Um, so we'll stick with the blonde one for the rest of this demo because I've unplugged the black one now. But Road One, do you want to talk us yep. through it? Yeah, so there's new Road One coming up for uh, 2020. Um, we've got some 50s strats, which we've got here, two colors. Uh, this one in the Fiesta Red and then this one in the, in the uh, Surf Green. And then you've got a 50s Telecaster, which is in the blonde and in a Lake Placid blue. Uh, they've both got 50 voice pickups in there. Okay, and then there is a 60s strut coming out in a Lake Placid blue and a Fire Miss Gold oh, with a Palfero oh. board on it. Uh, and then a, what happened there? You're I nearly dropped the guitar and then I realized no. it was road one, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly, it doesn't matter. And then you've got a 70s uh, custom telly. Oh. in a Olympic white and a Daphne blue. Naughty uh, All boy. of these pickups are made for these, um, the hot uh, 50s in these ones mm. here. Uh, seven and a quarter inch radius board. It's so a kind of Vintera kind of vibe. Yeah, the... Vintera kind of vibe. And it's got, so all of those appointments that you would expect from a 60s I mean, and I like, 50s. And... I like Road One. I was kind of disappointed. I don't think Road One ever got the credit it was due when it was a normal part of the line. And I was no. really disappointed last year when, when Fender announced they were going to discontinue Road One. And then they explained, they said that the problem in their Mexican plant Where these are made. is they don't have a separate spray room for um, doing nitro finish guitars and then a separate one for doing the polyurethane finish ones. So what they have to do every time they want to do Road One is completely stop flush through all the polyurethane um, finishing from the system, set up to do the nitrocellulose guitars, and then when they finish that, completely flush through everything again and go back. So, yeah. so they decided at the at last year on Road One to just do it as limited run stuff. So all this Road One stuff that you're seeing now is, is a limited run launch for uh, Summer Nam. Um, I'm kind of excited to tell you, I'm, 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 some of this is supposed to be a little bit under wraps, but at some point in the next few weeks pete and i are going to tell you about some road warns that andertons have done as fsrs which are kind of cool yeah super um, cool. um but yeah there's there's something you know if you wanted uh if you want a nitro finish fender yeah typically you're going you're buying a usa original series so you're talking about you know another seven or eight hundred pounds on top of these yeah seven hundred eight pounds yeah. and if you want relic nitro finish guitars from fender you've got to go custom shop so you're talking three to four thousand pounds yeah so road one is a fabulous fabulous kind of price to get into guitars that are you know thin nitro finishes and it's um, got a little bit of worn way on them and but they, it does you know it's got the crack the yeah. crackling in the lacquer and the yeah. bit, but the, the cool thing about it being like this is it's like it's got the beginning yeah. to be worn yeah. because as soon as you start playing this you'll get your own little marks yeah. on it and stuff I, and I the think, neck will go dark i think road worn is a great mod shop guitar yeah. potentially to sort of go yeah i'm going to get that and then over time i'm maybe going to change the pickups and stuff i maybe try and you know get some sandpaper on the neck no, and get it just, just, just but, play, um, yeah i really 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 like road one they come with gig bags right yeah come with the, cool. the, the normal fender um, deluxe uh, what was I, I going to say? It. Oh, that was the other thing as well. So road worn are relic or worn, if you like, to a template. So unlike custom shop where there's a, you know, you could get five heavy relic guitars from the same series and the relicking would be quite different on each yeah. one. Um, pretty much the relicking will be similar or, or no, I don't, I don't want to say identical, but you know, if there's a mark here on the 50 Telecaster, every single one will have the mark there because they're, they're done to a sort of a template. Yeah. So to that extent, your basic guitar out the box is going to look pretty similar. You know, if, if you had 10 guitars lined up, they'd all look pretty much the same. But then of course, the great thing with thin nitrocellulose finishes is almost from the minute you start playing it, you will start to put your own battle scars and stuff like that on it. So great. It's great. Man. They're very, they're very great. cool. We've only got the, the 50 Tele and the 50 Strat today. Yeah. So we'll have to introduce you to the uh, 60s Strat and the 70s Tele. Oh, and, well, and there's a bass, which you will see in a bass video. There coming is a soon. 60th anniversary jazz bass from the Road One. That's really well. cool. Uh, these are all, uh, apart from the bass, these are all under a thousand pounds. Again, whiz over to the Anderson's website, check the links below and you can see the up-to-date pricing. Okay, so Telecaster, um, couldn't be simpler to demo. Big G chord on Sounds the good, pickup. Man. 
it's got that not quite got the same vibe as when you pick up a custom shop relic but it's got that you know it's got that lived in you need to play it a bit times vibe haven't played that for ages two pickups together Right. Bridge pickup. And I should have looped um, that on the way out there. We could do. Yeah, we could do. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. You me. ready? One, yeah. two, three, four. Sorry, this has been a long video, but it's always there was a lot to tell you about the amplifier and bloody blah. Blah, 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 anyway, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching, uh, and we shall see you almost certainly tomorrow. Bye.